Welcome to a tutorial video on ChoiceScript. In this video I'm going to cover using variables. This video continues with the project we showed in the last video of using different scenes and transitioning between them. However, we're using a new command here at the top starting on line 8. We see the create command. The create command creates variables as well as sets their initial values. So we see here the create command starting with a star a space, the name of the variable we want to create, in this case choices, a space and its initial value. So we're creating a variable with name choices with the initial value of 0. And that's line 8. We can see the value of any variables using the dollar sign and then curly brackets to show the value of that variable. And we can see it here. If I restart this, we see here you've currently made 0 choices which is what is on line 10. You've currently made and then the value of the variable choices which is currently 0. As we move throughout this project we can change the value of variables using the set command. We see this here on line 21. We're using the set command to change the value of the variable choices and then the amount to change and what are the arithmetic to apply. So in this case we're adding 1. Using the set command, we're changing the value of the variable choices plus 1. So it's moving from 0 to 1 in this case. So if we were to choose that, we went into the woods. Now we see the second use of the choice command. We could cross the river or did not cross river. Let's go ahead and cross river. In this case, we saw the initial text over here on the right hand side that appears within this choice. Then, as covered in the previous video, we're using the command go to underscore scene to go to another file. In this case, we're going to bad endings. Over here in bad endings, we see the additional text we saw over here on the right hand side. You didn't survive the trip, and in parentheses, you made, and then the value of the variable choices, choices. So in this case, we made one choice. We made the value of the variable choices, choices. In this case, 1. We can restart. In this case, go to the mountains. Go to the next chapter. We now transitioned into the house scene. We've moved between scenes. And we could knock on the door. Now we've made two choices. And we can see that in startup. If we go back to startup, scroll down to where the mountains is, we see we went into the mountains and we see the use of the command set. We're changing the value of the variable choices plus one. So set choices plus one. And then we see the use of the finish command. As covered in an earlier video, the finish command, when encountered, will transition to the next scene if there is a next scene within the scene list order. At the top of this file, we see the scene list includes startup, the current file we're looking at, and then house. So let's move over to house. So moving over to house, we see that. We knocked on the door, and so the command set was used an additional time to change the value of the variable choices plus 1 to 2. So we moved as we went into the mountains, and then as we knocked on the door were two choices. We also see at the top of this file the use of the command if. The use command if allows us to create conditional statements within ChoiceScript to act on the value of variables. We can compare variables or compare variables to numerical values. In this case, we see if choices is greater than 1. And we would then see the text, if so, we've made many choices. But we hadn't seen that, and so choices was 1 or less than 1. But we can use the if and other conditional commands covered in other videos to test the value of variables to other variables, other value of variables to other numerical values or strings or things like that. So using variables then, we can create them as we saw in startup using the create command to create a variable and then assign it an initial value. We used choices in this extended example with setting initial value to 0. Then we used the set command 
as we initially saw on line 21, to change the value of the variable by something. In the case of line 21, we increased the value of the variable choices by 1, plus 1. We then did it again in other files. For example, as we transitioned through the mountains, we saw the use of the command set, change the value of the variable choices, plus 1. Then in house, which was the next scene in order, when we made the choice knock on the door, we saw that again. Then we saw the use of the command go to underscore scenes to good endings. And finally, we saw the value of the variable choices as we see over here on the right hand side, that text as shown in this file, as well as the value of the variable choices using the dollar sign and curly brackets around it. Thanks for watching.